Hi, this is Mark from uh, Live Free and Bushcraft. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to do a review, tabletop slash out in the woods review. Uh, I picked up this setup a little while ago and I'm really liking it. I'm converting from using the Gilt bottle, which you really can't find anymore, and there's just no accessories for it. So this is, I think, going to be moving forward my go-to because for the price range, it's awesome. It's all solid stainless except the bottle, and uh, it's working out really good. It's exceeding everything I need it for. Here I have the uh, canteen shop set up. The Nalgene bottle, the uh, heavy cover for the canteen cup, has strainers on the end. Excellent. Solid stainless steel, very heavy duty. Got to handle the uh, military stainless steel cup. These are getting harder and harder to come by, so if you one who's a fan of the stainless steel like I am, because it pretty much lasts forever, this has been used a few times, you know, I pretty much try to clean it every time to keep it in the best shape possible. Everybody knows the folding handles, they wrap right around. And here's an invention by Rob Simpson himself of the Canteen Shop. There's his logo, a Canteen Cup Stove, which works awesome. You got ventilation holes on the side, got his logo grill top bottom or grill top top and it's got the raised uh, pins there so that way you can actually have some space between your cup to let the airflow really get that fire going to boil your water or making yourself chaga tea whatever you like nestles nicely right inside handles fold around bottle sits right in there and then I'll just store this right on the bottom. Stick that in my side pocket. Works great. I believe this whole setup will fit inside a military canteen cover, which Rob also has. But I like just sticking it in my bag. And works great. All right, so I'm just going to get this going. I get my bed of coals here. Just going to scoop some out. Get a little hot spot going. Put that right there. A lot of people don't carry... Uh, that is already getting hot in these gloves. I've picked up hot logs of them. Put that right on there. There we go, check and balance, we're good. Get that a little bit of water in there. Now, almost fill it up so we can get that to a quick boil and make some tea today. And I'll pop that on top. The cover is going to get it to a boil as fast as it can go. Grip. And a great feature just having a stove. I mean, you can use put alcohol stove under there if you're just a hiker. You know, you're limited to starting a fire. Or you can throw it right on top here. I like using the stove. That way it kind of keeps my canteen cup out of the coals. So that's one less thing I got to scrub and clean. And the steel is a lot thicker on the canteen stove than it is on the cup. So having that elevator really gets a good heat going there. And I mean, you've seen videos out there, people just grill right on top. You know, awesome, really an awesome little feature. And you don't need a lot of wood. You know, just a little fire underneath and kind of forms like a little, a little wood stove in there. You know, it's basically the design and it works great. Yeah, I know a lot of people out there are a big fan of the uh, Gute bottles. They do hold a lot of water. They are solid stainless steel, but the fact that there's no metal cover for it uh, you have to take the cover off. Usually, a lot of time you get ash right inside your drinking water, which is I can do without the charcoal. And uh, it's a bigger bottle, but this way, you know, your 32 ounces, you're still getting them out of your your bottle here, your canteen cup. And the design of the canteen cup is is really great. That that bean shape, you know, really helps as far as stacking it somewhere. You can always stick your fork in a little extra space in there and I like it too because if you're using your, your guillot bottle if you're cooking food or making soup right in there well now that you just eliminated where you can drink your water here I can have my food and my water in separate containers but they all nestle together you know which works out great and I find the GSI cup just isn't big enough there is something to say about the military having this design and using it for decades 
because it works. No sense in reinventing the wheel. Canteen cups evolving. Stainless steel cup. They were aluminum. Some are aluminum. Now you get your grill top stainless steel stove. Rob Simpson did an awesome job just evolved to something greater, taking something, making it better. You know, it's not a jet boiler or anything or a MSR rocket. A little rocket stove. Things, you're out of fuel, you pretty much can't use them for much anymore after that. And that's one more thing you gotta carry, more fuel, more weight on your back. And like I said, it's great if you're hiking and it's the only thing, you can, the only time you can actually do something like that. But other than that, you're limited. Try buying anything stainless steel for 20 bucks. You know, it's a great buy, it really is. It's gonna last you forever. Uh, I'm just as frugal as every other person out there trying to save money. Quality. Quality is definitely uh, in there and it's awesome. Like I said, we see the videos, they're running over with the cars. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much more you're going to be beating on your canteen stove unless you're going to use it as a stump for cracking wood, but I bet it could even handle that. All right, let's check out see how our uh, water's coming along. Probably been about you know, eight, nine minutes, I'd say. And uh, we're getting there. Definitely can see the oil seeping out of there, small bubbles starting. So, you know, it's almost a rolling, rolling boil. Yeah, it's getting hot. So I'll put the cover back on there and slip. If we're snack today, I'm just gonna use this uh, MRE side dish, this fried rice. And uh, no sense in wasting our warm water. Get our tea boiling, it's already boiling right there. Gonna let that do its job. I'm just gonna take my bag. This is uh, aluminum, really foil. Just stick it in there and just let it warm up my food. So now multitasking, making tea and Warming up my food. Check it out. Oh yeah, you get some excellent oils in there. Look at that. Look at those oils in there. High in vitamin C. And just gives you water flavor. Okay, this is the part of my review I like to call the, uh, the baton test. Basically it's gonna simulate any rough wear on these items. Uh, if it falls out of your pack off a cliff, falls 300 feet, lands in a rock. You know, will it survive, so. Let's just take my baton, give it a good baseball swing, and let's check it out. Ooh, that was a good one. Excellent. Not even a ding. But well, I'm not convinced. So, uh, batter up. There we go, off a tree. Hey, Mr. Mark, what if it falls on the other side? Well, let's see. Oh man, I gotta get that one. But what if it lands on this tippity edge? Alright, one last time. Well, looks like it passed my uh, infamous baton test. Not a dent, not a ding. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now I'm gonna show it. Yep. True to form, stays shape. We are good, people. All right, we'll test the heavy cover too. You know, we don't want anybody thinking it's not fair. Oops, hit my camera. Excellent, pass the test. Not a mark, not a scratch, no dings, no dents. The weld holding solid, the handle weld holding solid, so. I'm going to ask for a better test than that. So, uh, if you're not too happy with your, your D.O. bottle design setup, this is what you want right here. Canteen shop. Alright, so here's some final thoughts on uh, the canteen cup. The canteen stove and the heavy cover from the canteenshop.com. Just finish some tea. Let's give it a little taste. Oh, that is so good. So good. More of a tidbit, too, about the uh, canteen cover with the uh, holes on the side on the lid for straining. If you got something, you just need the water, you don't want your contaminants of all your... Take this pine needle tea, pour it right inside your uh, water container. You can easily just strain it right there. Simple to do. All the little yuckies stay inside. Get you a good fresh drink, but I like the pine needles in there. I kind of chew them, swallow them down a little bit. I should say today they're juniper needles, and they taste fabulous. Really, those oils really seeped in there good. And I'm actually surprised how the cup 
stainless steel canteen cup. It's cool to touch, but the liquid inside is still pretty warm. So, you know, it's definitely uh, kind of deceiving that, you know, the cup is cool and the liquid's still kind of warm in there. So that'll help keep your beverage, because I know with the GSI mug, that cup's cold, your drink's cold, and it's, it's just not the same, so highly recommended. So again, canteenshop.com. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for viewing, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.